There's many attractive women and men in video games. Yes, they're virtual fictional characters, but that doesn't mean that they don't have some sex appeal. And hey, sometimes it's kind of nice to appreciate the aesthetic of the person you're playing. So today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sexiest video game characters. Let's see if your favorite made the cut. In at number 10, Triss Marigold from The Witcher. Triss is one of the only non playable characters who made this list, and one of the multiple love interests for Geralt. But she serves a bigger purpose than romance. Triss is a sorceress, known as the 14th of the Hill since it was believed she was killed during the Battle of Sodden Hill. And fun fact, during the marketing leading up to The Witcher 2's release, she was on the Polish Playboy as a cover girl. In at number 9, Snow from Final Fantasy VIII. Snow's got some serious surfer snowboarder vibes going on. Created in contrast to Lightning, he has a passion and impulsive attitude, but has received a lot of hate from fans of the Final Fantasy games. He is a little bit cheesy, but that's why his fans like him. That and maybe the shock of blonde hair with that stubbly jaw. In later games, his appearance changes slightly, opting out for a less boyish look and more of an adult one with longer slicker hair. And at number 8, Joel from The Last of Us. Rugged, hardened, and has a traumatic past he'll never want to talk to you about. That's what you can expect from Joel from The Last of Us. Joel doesn't have any of the fancy superhuman abilities that others on this list may have. His his ability is being able to survive in some of the toughest, most terrifying situations, and keep his head while doing it. Not to mention the father-daughter bond he shares with Ellie is perhaps one of the most heartwarming relationships in contemporary video games. At the start of the game, we see a slightly younger Joel, and for the most part we play a slightly matured one, both of which are total babes. Up next, number 7, Samus Aran. Flipping back over to the more feminine side of gaming, let's take a look at Samus Aran, the kick-ass intergalactic bounty hunter that surprised most fans with the reveal of her gender at the end of the first Metroid game in 19. Making fans question why they assumed she was male in the first place. She was orphaned during a space pirate raid on her home of K2L, and taken to Zebes where she was raised to become a warrior. For the most part, we play as Samus when she's wearing her power armor, with her taking it off at the end of the game, usually as a reward for beating it within a certain time frame. Regardless, Samus has always stood out as being a character symbolizing courage, power, and heroism. And at number 6, Geralt from The Witcher. Geralt of Riviera is the protagonist of The Witcher series, and he's got that silver fox thing going on. He's cunning and rarely partakes in pleasures beyond that of women or the occasional tankard. He is a gifted swordsman and aims to choose the lesser evil when making decisions. And he's definitely not afraid to get a little kinky. And at number 5, Bayonetta. There's a lot of fans out there that consider Bayonetta to be the hottest female ever invented. Yes, this is a thing on the internet. And hey, fair enough, Bayonetta, while being a cheeky, sophisticated, ruthless killer, has definitely got a lot going on that could easily enchant any player. So why do people feel that she's the babeliest babe out there? Those long legs? the sexy librarian glasses, the scantily clad, sometimes not clad at all outfits, and the slight BDSM vibe that she and some of her attacks give off. And I guess her general badassery when it comes to her killing foes and her hack and slash games. What's not to love? And at number 4, Commander Shepard from the Mass Effect series. This may seem like a cop out, but hear me out. One of the best parts of Mass Effect is how the game allows for the player's choices to impact the narrative of the game. This includes your protagonist. You play as Commander Shepard, and you get to choose whether to play as a female or a male. You also get to choose who you're romantically involved with, with options for same sex coupling or interspecies coupling. So there's something inherently sexy about a character whom you dictate so much selection over. And it helps that developers made both the femme chef and male chef incredibly hot. Strong jaws, expressive eyes, hot bods. How could anyone on your ship say no? And at number 3, Chun Li from Street Fighter. Chun Li is one of the most recognizable female playable characters in gaming history. So naturally, she has a pretty large following of fans who think she's super hot. She's even got a valiant cosplay fan base that produces many an attractive rendition of the character in real life. Many attribute her attractiveness to her curves and her way around a fight. Others attribute it to that skirt of hers. But some just downright think that Cammy is more attractive. Whatever floats your boat. Friends. In our number 2 spot, Nathan Drake. The lead protagonist in the Uncharted series is a man of many talents. One of those talents is being undeniably attractive. Just ask any of his romantic interests over the years. It's hard to not fall in love with him and his charismatic, thrill-seeking, yet overall good-hearted nature. He's not afraid of a little danger, he doesn't mind getting his hands dirty, and he looks damn good while he's doing it. Nathan has long held the title of the sexiest man in video games to date, although some of the men on this list do give him quite a run for his money. But there's something
something about a charming adventurer with a bit of a bad boy streak that leaves us enchanted by him more than the rest. And finally at number 1, Lara Croft. Lara Croft of the Tomb Raider fame is perhaps the most iconic sex symbol in the video game industry. Initially just a set of sharp sexy polygons and now a fully fleshed 3D character, Lara has always been a particular fancy for gamers, to the point where there was even a rumor of a cheat that allowed you to get her naked. But gone are the days of mindless objectification. The latest installments of the character have developed her into a complex, flawed, yet ridiculously endearing person, who is still insanely attractive. Some things never change. Alright, there we have it friends. Do you agree with our picks? Or are there characters out there that we definitely missed out on? Let us know in those comments below, and perhaps we'll do part 2. If you dug this video, please show us some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons, share it with a friend, and head on over to our channel to take a look at our recent uploads playlist for more great videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Catch you all in the next one. Thank you.